What's up everyone, my name is Zombie. I am a content creator and streamer on Twitch. And one thing I've been doing for a while now is editing my own content, but trying to find new ways to add spice to it, like slow motion, transitions, color fades, whatever it is I can do to make it a little better. So I've been working on slow motion recently, and I found an easy way to explain to you guys how to do it. And I'm gonna show you how to do it to get those smooth plays that everyone sees in those Call of Duty edits and things like that without having to stress yourself, no paid plugins, completely free on Premiere Pro. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Let's get into it. Once you have your clip down here in the editing track, what you're gonna wanna do is alt left click and drag a second copy up onto the next track. You can minimize this one and just double click it. It opens it up, makes it bigger, or you can click drag and make it as large as you want. It's not that big a deal. It just makes it easier to edit when it's larger. So right click the new one, unlink it from the audio down below, and then go down to the bottom where it show key where it show clip keyframes and change it to time remapping speed. So now you can see the speed on the clip. If you lower it, it makes it longer and slower and vice versa. So what we're gonna do is go back to normal here. And what I wanna do is go right where I shoot the person downrange. Okay, so use your directional keys and get right where you want the clip. What you're gonna wanna do is zoom in some more here. And this is a control left click. So go down here to the line, control left click where you want it to start and then where you want the slow mode to end, which I'm gonna do right here where I go to move away, control left click again, oop, right there, all right? So we're gonna go back over to where this first keyframe was, and what you're gonna to wanna to do is cut the audio at the bottom. We're not touching it just yet, we're just gonna cut it for now. And this middle line, you can now drag independently from everything else. This is the part that you're slow-mo, right? So we're gonna slow it down to about 8%, okay? So let's do 8% right there. And then what you're gonna wanna do is change the audio down here to the same speed, right? So this is after we take the shot. We go down here to this audio, right click, change the speed and duration to 8% as well. So now the audio lines up as is happening here. Okay, it's gonna sound very choppy and strange. You can turn the audio down, it's not that big of a deal. You just want the post audio to be the same as it is in the actual clip. So if we use our directional key and get right here again, where the slow-mo ends, Cut the audio again, so now this is all independent. This is its own thing happening here. Go to the one after where the clip ends, right click and change that speed back to 100%. So if we watch this, you'll hear the audio. It'll line up properly. It looks choppy, but that's not all we have to do to this. But the rest of the end audio all lines up, which is very important. So now that we're here, what we're gonna do is right click the top clip, go to speed and duration as well. And where it says time interpolation, change it from frame sampling to optical flow. This is what gives you that very smooth look that you see in montages. And it's very, it's the most important step in all of this. You click your keyframe here and drag it two places to the side and then click the frames. If you pull this little top, top dot here and angle it, it curves the flow of it, making it a lot smoother and less choppy than it would be normally. Do it on both sides, pull it two places to the side, and then drag the top one over. And in order for this to render properly, it's still very choppy. As you saw when I showed you guys the highlight, it's still choppy right here. And you can see that up in the top. This red bar means it's not rendered properly. So in order to render it properly, you have to press enter, and it starts to render all the files that are on your editing timeline right now. So now the clip's done rendering, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like at full speed with the optical flow on it. You can see how smooth that looks. There's no more of that choppiness to it, and it's that simple. You can do that with every portion of your video to make it look the way you want it to. This is the actual edit that I made for these clips. It's three different slows, and they all look the same. It's 60 FPS at 1080p resolution. You can do this for any game you want. I really hope this helped out a lot, guys, and if it did, consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. And if you need other tutorials, let me know in the comments, and I'll try to make one to help you guys out. I'm Zombie. Take it easy.